In this lesson, I'm going to cover the netstat command. Netstat is the command that lists all current network connections, connection statistics, and routing tables on your computer. The default netstat command will give you a listing of all the ports open on your computer as well as the foreign address of the computers you're connected to. Ports are like doors on your house. Information packets are addressed to a specific IP address, like a location, and a port number, like a port of entry. Your house works the same way. It has an address and a door where packages are delivered to. Netstat can tell you which programs are sending and receiving information to and from your computer. Now then, let's take a closer look at Netstat in the command prompt window. First, let's type the default Netstat command. As you can see, in the first column, you have your protocols listed as TCP, local address with the IP address and port that it's on, foreign address, where it's going to in the port, as well as the state. Currently, the state's time underscore wait. But it can be in listening or it can be in established. And we'll see that later. And now we're going to use netstat minus B. Minus B option will get information about which program is opening on each port. As you can see, I don't have any programs open right now, so we probably won't be able to see it. In that case, let me go ahead and open up Google Chrome and go to YouTube, and I'll just play a random video just so I can show you this example and how minus B option will allow us to get information about which program is opening on each port. All right, we'll do the command again, and this time you will see it. And there it is, we have Chrome that's opened up. And you can see that Chrome is on that IP address using that port to that foreign uh, address in uh, the established state. Now then we're gonna use netstat minus A. This option will show us all of the ports, including UDP ports that may be open on our machine. As you can see, these are all TCP protocols, but we'll see the UDP um, at the very bottom. And here we have our UDP protocol. Again, netstat minus A option will show all of the ports, including UDP ports, that may be open on our computer. OK, now we will use netstat minus N. Using the N option, we can see which external computers are connected to our computer and which ports they are using. Knowing which foreign address your computer is connecting to can be helpful if you want to be sure where your data is going to or coming from.
And lastly, we'll do the netstat minus E command. The E option is a quick way to tell if you are sending and receiving packets and if you're getting a large number of errors. So this can be helpful if you want to identify a bad network card, cable, or any configuration issues. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial on netstat. I know it's very basic, but I just want to give you uh, just a basic understanding of what it is and some of the options that you can use along with it to get some information about your network uh, connection. So go ahead and give it a shot, try it out, and if you want to do other commands, just use netstat space help, and it'll come up with a, uh, a help guide and give you uh, more commands that you can try out. All right, well, thank you for watching, and have a good day.